Happy Not So Monday, everybody, and welcome to the Go Home Show for the fourth pay-per-view installment of SMPW Independence here in Reno, Nevada. I am your host, Mr. Brokenator, and we're coming off from last week's episode from Smash Mountain Pro Wrestling. As tonight, we got some action here as demons are on the hunt as James Lurie takes on the queen of the hive, Mary Rush. And also in the main event, our SMPW Heavyweight Champion will be in action as he goes one-on-one -on -one with one member of Heroes of Wrestling, Tony Skate. Now let's head to ringside. All right, folks, now we get in our first installment of our go-home show matchup as we got Xavier Winkle, the number one contender for the SMPW United States Champion, taking on the former SMPW United States Champion, Gerard Leonard, as he goes for a bridging of the line suplex now. Covered at one, and only a one count. What is going to be coming into Xavier Wenkel when he goes in that matchup at Independence just about coming up in a couple of days? As we know that he's got a lot of potential to be a champion here in Smash Mountain Pro Wrestling. So is for everybody else. He earned the privilege to become the number one contender this way. He took on Gerard Lennon, who is he taking on right now as he applies a three amigos combination right now. Damn. Wait a minute. Last one, but not least. Onto the mat, oh my goodness. But anyway, as well as Tony, as well as Tyler Lopez and Kendrick Davison, who was also part of that Fatal 4-Way at the main event last week. And Xavier Winkle went on his own by himself. As you could tell, that Cameron Rudd is not there to be in his corner because he asked him to not be in this match. But the question is, will he be a part of his corner coming into the United States Championship matchup? That will be a question on here. And now Xavier Winkle off the ropes. What's this now? Oh my gosh! Hurricane Rana bounces him back onto the onto the ring apron. And this is now exposing the arm into the leg. I'm sorry. And notice he's here. Top rope. Look at the Skywalker now. Flying everywhere, boys. Flips and kicks. Shotgun drop kick blocks it. Gerard Lennon. Uh oh. Blocks away. Rolls out of the way. Now we got back and forth. Gonna go for Hurricane Rana. Wait, what's this? Oh my gosh, face first onto the center of the ring. Alley oop. Just flattens his face. And now Xavier Winkle goes to turn him around. What's this now? Inverted. Oh, Hurricanrana. Right onto the back of the deck. The agility the, he is showing me right now. His performance awes me. I'm always in shock and awe when I see Xavier Winkle into that ring. No matter if it's a multi-man match or a one-on-one -on -one match. And quite, quite frankly, he has been undefeated ever since his first singles match against Neil Airborne. And now he's going to take on the former. Look at this now. Oh my gosh, I spoke too soon. As he went for a cutter. It's not he's going to go for his patented finisher movie. He tried to attempt last week. He's going for it. Oh my gosh. What he's trying to go for here is trying to go for a... A shooting star moonsault slam, but it doesn't even fade around. Right? He just picks him up. Uh oh, now he blocks the cover. Now blocks the kick. Turns him around. Very nice takedown. Judo throw. Firm control he has right now into this matchup. Cover now. Pin attempt. One, two. No, just a power up. It's only a kick out of two. But by the way, speaking of championship matches, we have also other championship matches that will be taking place at the pay-per-view independence hour. United States pay-per-view it would be this patriotic pay-per-view what is this now oh my gosh what's the kind of magic ring the magic man Skywalker finds him at the crossroads might as well call that the crosswalker and now does he have plenty here he's going to pick him up no nice leg sweep no this is now oh my goodness he's oh, just going crazy now Gerard Lennon is going insane right here oh blocks the forearm now Xavier Wenkel looking over for something. He has to go for the arms. Very smart move by Xavier Wenkel. Going for the limbs to take out his, his offense. Go for another bridge and the light. This time is a one count. Full effect. 
And what's he gonna go for here? What's this? Uh oh, Hurricane Rana connects beautifully. I have passion for Xavier Winkle. I have faith for him coming into that matchup. And what's this now? You gonna go for another inverted? No, backs away. Very nice defense. Super kick, super kick. Almost landed back, whiplash onto the rope. And what's this now? Very nice snapper into the center of the ring. Looking over something else. Oh, no, shot to the abdomen. Xavier Winkle getting right back up on his feet. He's going up for another hurricane. What a very nice matchup between Xavier Winkle and Gerard Lennon. You know, what is this? If this favors up for Xavier Winkle could pull off a win against Gerard Lennon here tonight, then he will have a definite advantage going into that match against Kane Daniels for the SFPW United States Championship. And now right here now, going for another set of three amigos right now. The second one landing on the center of the ring. One goes up, must come down. Just the wood and the padding connecting the spinal cord. It is not a good one. This is not a front foot pile driver. Almost landing into that turnbuckle. Xavier Winkle must be down. He could be knocked out here if he could just pull off a pin attempt at any moment of time. But what is this here? And Xavier Winkle getting right back up his feet. Knee smash right into the face. And what's this here? He's going to go pick him up. Oh, he to go for another Hurricane Connects it beautifully once again. Go for a pin attempt here. Almost close to the ropes. One. Two, no. There's a power out of two. The disbelief in Xavier Winkle's face just shocks and awe. Just, I don't blame him whatsoever, but looks like he's going for the top rope. Could he be going for his patented 630 splash? He's going for it. There he connects. And it's all over. Could be right here. One, two, three. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Xavier Winkle with a plus of victory here. An upset win over our former champion. And I must say, what a gratitude match here. Great sportsmanship between Xavier Winkle and Gerard Lennon. Gerard Lennon right now wishing Xavier Winkle good luck in this matchup for the SMPW United States Championship. Will we see a new champion, the Skywalker at Independence? We'll find out at the paper we're coming on. But tonight, We've got a main event, Bilal Wicklow, the heavyweight champion, takes on one member of the Heroes of Wrestling, Tony Skade, still to come. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, we are just coming back from moments ago after a great match showing off. As right now, we're going to get our matchup, Lexi Coppett taking on one of our own debuts here, Jade Aqua. Look at this now, what's this? Uh-oh, Kanaka Ishikawa has made her way into the ring, going to watch... Lexi Kaufman, very, very passionate. She's got eyes at the back of her head. She's watching her like a hawk. And look at Lexi Kaufman has no fear into that eyes. You know, Kanako Ishikawa is still holding a grudge up to that streak ending in that tag team matchup after the what, heinous attack that happened last week when Taya Fini came in and just took her down with a cheap shot after her victory in that matchup. And now she's going to be watching him very closely as our debuting star, Jade Aqua, will be going one-on-one. -on -one. I guess Lexi Coppola just appears right behind her like a ghost. And now a couple of elbow tie-up, backs her up into the corner. And now the referee trying to block them two away from each other. And looks respectable odds. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Judo throws her, throws her into the corner. Oh, my goodness. What a throw here. And now it's going to boom, oh, jawbreaker. And already, you could tell in her eyes that Lexi Kaufman is not, not doing this. She don't care about this match. She just wants to send a message to, Lex, to Kanako Ishikawa following up Independence. The question is, will the Sparkle Goddess dethrone Kanako Ishikawa, our Empress? As she has been only in, in the undefeated in Smash Mouth Pro Wrestling and one-on-one -on -one action. She only lost, had one loss in our tag team match about a couple of weeks ago. But will, will that change hands? And now a beautiful counter by Jade Aqua. And as you can tell, Aqua means water. As you can tell by her ring gear, she is very clear. She is very open-minded. She is like Bruce Lee, you know, you be water, my friends. And now she's going to set over the top rope and just gets shoulder blocked out into the outside. The referee now going to start the count here as Lexi Coppin goes outside is going to flick some more damage onto our outside here. Now look at this now. Shot the abdomen trying to fight back here. Oh my gosh. 
spears or into the right into that ringside on that apron. The ball is just being spewed out here on ringside. We got to get back into this ring up for just a moment. And she just throws her into the other side. She's doing Kanako Ishikawa a favor to soften her up before the pay per view coming up in a couple days. Drop kicked her right in the face. Jeez Louise, I don't know if this is going to throw her off. Hold on. Sends her back down. I'm going to get a count of seven or eight right now. At least these, these two women don't even give a damn. I believe this is, oh, come on now. Come on, not even going to try to break up the count? Lexi, are you kidding me? This is how you're going to win the match here? Oh, my goodness. What a uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just trying to any desperate way do desperate measures to try to get a win here. Not even give her a chance to get show her showcase herself in the ring. She don't even care about these new div divas, these new women. I just, ironically, I said that so she is a diva, but she is one diva as well. But ladies and gentlemen, what a dishonorable win by Lexi Kaufman coming into that pay-per-view. What's going to happen at the pay-per-view? Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we come, still to come, the demon, the high, the queen of the hive, Mary Rush goes one-on-one -on -one against James Louise. Still to come. All right, fans, right now we're getting in some tag team action as we got two members of Insanity, Scary Scott and Abysmo, taking on the Superkick Party, Mark and Neil Gennetti. Mark, as you could tell that last week, Mark Gennetti had enough. Helping out his, helping out his buddy, Franco Vortex, after, after weeks upon weeks and weeks of just getting humiliated, bullied, and try to end the career of a, just a simple man who is trying to do what it, showcase himself into Smash Mouth Pro Wrestling. But look at this now, Cutter to Scary Scott, flattens his face on the center ring. He deserves that every bit of damage coming into this match. He deserves every bit of it. But we're just gonna get a preview of what's to come at the pay-per-view for Smash Mouth Pro Wrestling's fourth pay-per-view installment. Independence, our patriotic pay-per-view, as we're going to see these six in a tag team against one another in a hellacious six-man tag team tornado no disqualification match. It's going to be a civil war. Might as well call it the civil war. Now it's going to go down pin attempt here. First ever one. No, oh, just a quick cover at two. Pin at cover at one. You now trying to rake the eyes, sort of rub the face, but now not going to. And now retaliates. Shoves her off. Cutter. Nothing. Gonna pick him up, very nice. Oh, nice takedown by Mark. Tries him down. Very technical when it comes to this matchup. But just remember, we haven't seen these two in just a long time, ever since their qualification match for that Smash Mountain Pro Wrestling Tag Team Tournament for the shot at the Smash Mountain Pro Wrestling Tag Team Championships back at Avalanche in our first pay-per-view installment. I mean, now they're back and now they're better than ever with new ring gear, new look, and here to kick some ass and throw some super kicks. Whoever joins in gets exclusive VIP and they're the guest of honor. And now here he comes, tagged in Abysmal, now picking him up on the shoulders, look at that. Oh, found a, found a quick way to get away from the big bastard. I don't know where the hell did they find this guy? This man is huge. Six foot eight, 350 pound, coming out of from this, wherever he came from. And now he's looking up the top. Choke slam, power bomb to the center of the ring on Mark. Brings it back down. Look at this now. Rising out that hand as he went goozled and choke slam city, man. I gotta tell you that. So the whoever wins this matchup here, the tag team match, will have the favorite advantage coming into the pay-per-view at Independence in the Civil War match between all these six competitors. And now the big man going to the oh, the middle rope, blocks it. Very nice. And look at this now, a cowardly way. Gonna try to get out away from there. Oh, very nice counter into a reverse DDT and drops the big man down the back of the head. You gotta do whatever it takes for, it's, this is David versus Goliath if you wanna have that as a story. And this is now, oh, tilt a war. Drop him down, oh, very nice. Not a, sorry, not a tilt a war, but a bulldog. Brings the big man down. Uh oh, shot, no. Big forearm takes him. Look at the quickness by this guy. Look at these guys. They have not, they have changed a little bit. Their last opponents, oh, what's this now? Mark Gennetti now. 
Sends the big man over the top rope with ease. And now this is now off the top rope. Going airborne. Suicida. Mama. My goodness gracious. The big man is out. It only took one small guy to take out a big man like that with a leaping agility. I can tell you that, sir. And it's now, oh my gosh, just whiplashed into the, at the LED ring post. Do you think these guys care? Do you think the guys care if you even getting any type of broken ribs or broken backs? No, hell no. You know, what's this now? Just flicking more damage than I was just trying to pull the kneecap out from the socket. <coughs> I'm sorry. This is too much here. And now finally gets sends him back into the ring. Kick to the face! My gosh, size 14 boot connecting to the face. And making sure he does not make the tag here. Oh, very nice. Very nice counter. Oh, shot to the face. You know what's this now? What is this? Oh, come on, not in a big man. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Buckle bomb to Abysmo. Abysmo taking all this damage by marching into cover here. One, two, no. His power's out of counter two. I've never seen a big man take so much damage by such a guy like Mark Gennetti. I was expecting the other way around. You could say that he is no El Jefe. But what's this now? Do we gonna see? Oh no. What are we doing? We're not gonna see this. No, 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 no. We're gonna see this right here to the to Abysmo! My goodness! The they take up down! May he rest in peace! Cover now. One, two, and Scary Scott gets the savior keeping this match. Look at this. Janetti just telling him to suck it, dude. He's telling this man to suck it. And what's this here? Oh, side rush of like sweep to Scary Scott. These guys are just nothing but showmen here. These two are just treating him like a piece of cake, like a cakewalk. Look at this little booty pop moonsault by Neil. Oh my goodness. Look at these guys are show, but he will showcase himself. Look at this now. Top rope. Swat. Senton. To the big man. The big man's got to. Abysmal's got to make a count here. Oh, finally gets him sent to the corner. But the scary Scott is right there with it. Sitting down. Thinking whatever scary thoughts in his mind. Whatever voices that's inside of his head. No, Abyss was still in this action as still being I've never seen somebody like him. Oh no 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 come on not again not again not again are you kidding me are you kidding me another indie taker to Abyss oh my goodness oh mamma mia God again here we go cover one two oh not this time not this time. No saving whatsoever. You can see the smile in the eyes of Franco Vortex. You can see that he's enjoying every bit of this as watching these guys get obliterated by his be newly best friends, the Super Kick Party. Look, he's just going to try to get himself disqualified. Oh, what's this now? Power to bomb. Oh my gosh. Right to the center of the ring. We have no idea what Scary Scott it could be, but it looks like it's a two-on-one handicap match so far as Dave Box is still watching on for his... Boy, oh my gosh, I don't even want to say. But it looks like right here, it could be it. He's going to size him up. He's got him. Black hole slam! Drives him down to the back. Cover on. One. No. Just a one count here. Not going to be able to stop him. Now he's looking at the eyes of Neil. And he just goes right back to Mark. That's just scary, man. That's just scary. I can tell you that. And what's this here? Go for the bottom of the back. Oh, shots and rebound. Yeah, he's very nice counter. Oh, what's this? Oh, my goodness. A straight up Mark Janetti. Face buster. One, two, and no. Oh. Scary Scott just cost him. He could have cost him the tag team win. The loss. If he didn't kick out of that face buster. And what's this here? A shot to the groin. Look at this again. Oh, that down to the shot to the abdomen. Just walking all over him. And Scary Scott has not been tagged into this matchup whatsoever. Franco Vortex is still again. 
enjoying every bit of the damage, every bit of Abysmus treatment. And now this is here. Oh, he's got him by the throat. He's goozled, man. He's goozled. Choke slam. Onto the mat. He's trying to pick him up. At, look at Completely no sells it, if you want to say it. He has to get to a pin here. Oh, and here we go. Counter into a pin attempt. One, two, no. Look, again, Neil Jen These guys are very strategic. Take out one guy. Whatever, what's this? Oh, he's going to try to go for the count. And finally, a fresh Scary Scott gets into the match. Finally. I don't know what's this here. Well, that plan backfired so much. Here's Louise. Now he's going to try to, now he's going to pick him up. What's he going to see here? And oh, no, 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 no. Indy Taker to him. Not Indy Taker to Scary Scott. He just came in, man. He just came. Oh, wait a minute. No, what's this? He's going to attempt a buckle bomb. He's going to combo it with Neil. Oh, no. He's like going to the back. Followed up with a buckle bomb. Oh, my gosh. I've never seen just destruction to the sanity. Dave Box is losing his mind for crying out loud. One. And he's trying to try to get the cheap way out of here. But Abysmo is able to stay in here. The scary Scott has not been had much into this matchup. Look at this now. A spot monkey flying up from the rope onto the crashing human being. I don't even know if you want to call him a human being. Uh-oh. From the back behind. Uh-oh. No counter. Squabs him to the back. Uh-oh. What's this? Go to turn him around. Who look around the knee? He's got to have to reach. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's got him up by the back of his head. Oh, he's got him between his legs. Drives him up to the face first. Jeez Louise. Oh, man. You want to talk about eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. We're seeing this right here. The playing field has tabled, turned, covered at one, two. No. Completely. That was a save to the nick of time. That would have been over with if he didn't kick out of that. But thankfully, Abyssal was right there to be the, into the save. Now, what's this here? No, not getting any kind of offense in this matchup. It's all been these two. And oh, my gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. Not that. They're going to go for another indie. Oh, wait. Never mind. What is this here? Oh, steamroller. 450. You know, Kamu would finish it up. The moonsault from the top rope. Oh, my gosh. In the words, he couldn't escape. Now, what is this now? Backbreaker it to Mark Gennady. And so what's this here? Top rope going in board. Scary Scott going to go for something scary here. No pun intended. What's this here? Calling him up. Going to flatten him. Hurricanrana. Very nice of it. Very nice of you. And now he goes back to, oh, no. Instead, he changes his mind. He's going to he's gonna go for his patented DGT from the middle rope. He connects it. Oh, the center of the ring. Face first. Just drops him and all. Uh oh, turns around. What's he going to see here? Oh, nice takedown, though. Scary Scott with a takedown. Oh, he's blocks it. Make sure there's no tap. Oh, slaps him across the face. That's not respectful at all. Do you think he cares? Uh -uh, I don't know. Oh, what's this here? He's gonna go for it. Oh, shot to the abdomen, jabs him with the kidneys. Now, what's this here? Oh, now they're gonna go for another indie take. Oh, very smart. Make sure that's not gonna happen. Back suplex drops him to the back. What are we gonna see from here from Scary Scott as he drives this the knee to the which the arm? Oh my goodness, what a what a match here! I gotta give credit to these guys. To insanity, you know, as much as heartless, as much of some six sons of bitches they are, you gotta give them credit though. He's gonna let him get tagged in, apparently, but that ain't gonna, that ain't gonna matter. He, he's gonna take it, he's gonna let this happen. Drop kick, brings him back down. Now, look at this. Now. Oh my gosh, this rubbed the face plane into his eyes. Uh oh, what's this face buster? Oh my gosh. That's not very good for its blood to be rubbing onto the face paint. Crimson mask. Slow flying clothesline. Blocks it. He's put a spear. He didn't, he didn't see that coming. He's back up. Clothesline drawing some down. Comes back up. And another shot. 
A monstrous leap from Abysmo. And why is Dave Boxer circling around like a freaking lunatic? Look at him. He's circling around like a freaking maniac. Can you see this? Anyway, this is going to see here another black hole slam. To the end of here. One, two, no. Gets a shoulder up at two. You think they're just going to go down with just one black hole slam? You think again. At least I'll just give it a massage. As I'll kneel it. Janani comes right back up. Oh my gosh. Did he just completely with the strength of that fist? Use all that power to make it bleed. They love pain. They love blood. But not on themselves. Mostly. But a nice tilt to world by Neil Janetti. And now he's going to go for something airborne here. We're going to see here 4 to 50. Oh, it connects. It really connects, but it was full effect. And this is here. We're going to see it from behind. Go to back behind. Oh. Another side rush on Eggs Reap. Just drops down the big man. What a match here, folks. What a match we're seeing from these guys. And look at this now. I don't know. Go for another pin attempt. I think they're going to try to go. No, no, this, no, this time. One, two, do. Keeps the match going. Scary Scott keeps this match going. And look at this. Look at Neil just staring down at Scary Scott. What do they got to do to put away insanity? What are they going to go? What are they going to do? But anyways, they're gonna go flow him over. It was Abysmo gonna. No, he's gonna leave him alone and tag in Scary Scott. Apparently, Scary Scott wants him. He saw him eyeballing him, but he wants Neil shouting at him. But no, but completely it backfires. Oh no! We're we gonna see another indie taker. Uh oh, it looks. Like, oh, never mind. He can't escape. 450. The same routine, Moussant, oh, drives him down, in the chest. My voice might go be out to the, to the end of this matchup, or at the end of this episode, but it doesn't even matter. But wait a minute, what is this? What is this? Scary Scott is going to send him right down to hell, up to the top rope, very top rope. Goes on, jeez, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he just seizured. Mamma mia! Sends him driven into the mat. But what's this here? Playing possum? Mark just played possum. Now look at this now. He's gonna try to lift him up. Oh no! This is crazy, man. Going in the background is trying to help your partner for crying out loud. What is kind of combo are you trying to do? Are you trying to help your partner? Are you trying to? What are you trying to do here? Oh my God! Such a German suplex. Mark Janetti just took. Insanity out with one man. It took one man to take two men out, but Digmox can't do anything about it. He, he don't want to get his he don't want to get his faction into any disqualification. No, they're completely they're completely useless. But they will be useful at the pay per view at an independence. I can tell you that. We don't know what to expect of that independence. It's going to be a civil war that we're not going to expect. But look at here. Fall up, chicken wing, face buster. Oh my gosh, full Nelson face buster. Drives him to the, uh, to the face, cover now. One, two, no, completely one count. Now the big man gonna chase down Neo Gennetti. Both of them staring down at the man. Oh my gosh. Just knocks him out, he had enough of that. I can tell you that, elbow drop. Oh my gosh, fall the way up from the top row, crashing down. And it did hurt its side. Now what's this here? Gonna send him to the corner. What are we gonna see here from these two? What combination are we gonna see for Amir? As no, instead, plans backfire. Go oh, what the hell? I guess that worked, kinda. As we're gonna see here. Very nice twisting neck breaker. Oh my gosh, well, wait a minute. Turns it it's around on him. Tables turn onto Scary Scott. Abysmo tired out, exhausted from all that. Indy takers, he'd been taken by Super Kick Party, but we have not seen a Super Kick in this matchup, so that name kind of be mis misleading if you ask me. But a nice judo throw by S to Scary Scott. And what is going to go for here for another Indy taker? This is going to be the second Indy taker. I mean, it'll be a first Indy taker for Scary Scott if he could put him with it. And it looks like it's going to, well, no, this time they're going to do it to him. 
The buckle bomb is a pretty combo. Oh my gosh, clocks him into the back of the skull. Jeez Louise, insanity has taken all this punishment. We have never seen be vulnerable like this ever in our career in SPW. Go for the top rope. Springboard 450. Gonna knock him down the center of the ring. Gonna really put him away. One, two. Oh no. Completely gets the shoulder up at two. These boys will not stop. These maniacs will not stop until they get what they want. And look at this now. He's got to, he's got to be the sharpshooter. He's got to be the cease to desist. He's got to be the cease to desist. He's got nowhere to go. Scary Scott is in trouble. He's fighting. He's clawing like he's back in the asylum trying to escape. Wait, wait, wait. He fought away. He turned the key around. Locks out of it. Unlocks out of the cease to desist. Now chops him into the corner. What are we going to see here? Oh my goodness, that'll just send to the quarter. Oh, off the ropes, into a bulldog, finds his face in the middle of the, on the ring. Got the side where I'm sorry. Gonna throw over. No, oh, gets troubled by a clothesline. Gonna go for the counter here. Cover one, two, no, just powers out of two. My goodness gracious, what a match, ladies and gentlemen. What are you gonna expect from anywhere else other than Smash Mouth for Wrestling? Not a damn dime. How you doing? And what's this here? Neil Gennetti go up the top rope. Airborne. Sling trap. Oh. Lucy, we're not home. Oh my gosh, this is just, just stares at him. I don't like that when they look at each other. I don't like when he looks at when they look at each other like that. That's just no. Oh. No, no, no. And look at this now. Gonna back him up to this center of the ring. Whiplash his neck. Connected to the green ropes. And I was just gonna go for another 450 again to the center of the ring, ripping, breaking the rib cage. Cover now here. One, two, no. Thank goodness for Abysmo, just in case he doesn't even make it through. Drop kick again to the back of the head. What are we gonna see here? Draws back up, knee smash to the face. This is craziness. This is this match is completely going out. In all directions here. So what we can see here? That's Kurt Meyer's move. Come on. A one night stand. Uh oh, this could be all in here. This could be all hit. Oh my gosh. He could. He's he's playing his cards. He's still in his soul like Shane Song. Oh, but he made it closely into the right to the ropes. Instantly made it to the ropes. Very smart by Neil Gennetti's book. And now he tags in the big monster. Neil Gennetti could be a trouble here. Is he gonna go for a cover here? Could be all over. One, two, no! Reaches his arm, pops his shoulder up just a nick of time. Double flattens his face on the mat. What's this now? Pin attempt again. One, two, no! Again, another, sh another kick out of two. Abysmo now into the ring. Oh, oh, remember what I was talking about kicks earlier, but that wasn't a super kick though. It's not really count, but it counts as a kick though. But what's this here now? Oh, not again. Are they going to go for another Indy taker for the big man? Oh, not this time. He no, his, he learned his lesson. Now he's going to send to that corner. We're we going to see here. Oh, shots. No. Completely turns around, but oh my goodness. There we go. The third Indy Taker, I think it connected onto him. Oh no. Oh my goodness gracious. Into this. Oh, never mind. The dude to this big man. He can't escape. 450 to the big man. Follows it up. The same routine. Moonsault to the big man. Oh my gosh. These guys are completely getting destroyed. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's going to go in his own Indy Taker. Tombstone Pirates are happening to the six foot eighter. Oh my goodness, what a match. What a destructive match. Now Abysmal all bloodied, battered, and bruised. And I was gonna go for set into the corner, to the wrong corner, gonna for another tombstone, but no, drops it down. Reverse DDT for a big sized man flowing over a small guy. You never see these days of that happening. And now listen, now crack in that back. Uh oh, are we gonna see it again? Finally. 
Black hole slam connects. Go to the back. Cover now. One, two, no. Again. Just kicks out of the black hole slam, ladies and gentlemen. This is what you're going to expect at Smash Mountain for wrestling. These boys will not quit. We have only seen them in one tag team match and they're back and they approve themselves. You no matter how many times or how many matches you have been in the first ever season, you can always come back stronger than ever. And as these guys have been back, they have been into a tirade against the Sanity. What's this now? Close lines them. Short on close lines them into the corner. And now goes up top. What are we gonna see here? Sends him to the corner. What are we gonna see? Sends him, floats him over like a pancake. Oh no, not again. Not again to Abysmo. A bloody Abysmo. Spinal stun knows this into the, the uh, buckle bomb. But that, could that put him away? Could that do it? One, two, no. Takes out of it. And look at this now. It looks like he's sizing him up. It could have put him away. Abysmo is in trouble. Can he go for the? Oh, he's going for the season assist. His brothers have their own type of move. Could he put him away? He's like reaching the ropes. Scary Scott is nowhere to be seen. He do not even know where to see him. And look at that now. Abysmo taps. The monster taps. And that is not favored for them. Super Kick Party has won and defeated two members of Insanity for Franco Vortex. Ladies and gentlemen, we have seen what we have seen in a triumphant match. What a great match between these two guys. Uh, I don't know what you want to call it, but that was a, yeah, this is something that we're going to see in the books. But ladies and gentlemen, this is what we see for a preview at Independence. Could we see BC in that same type at Independence? Could they be leading Franco Vortex to beating Insanity? But ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we have ourselves the demon, the queen of the hive, Mary Rush, going one-on-one -on -one against James Lurie. Holy Christ. Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just trying to get my breath out here for what just happened after that match. Referee, let's do this, of course. And now Demon's action now. Mary Rush go right to the attack viciously for an assault onto James Lurie. I'm just gonna get so hyped into this stuff. It's not even imagine. And this is now Mary Rush is gonna call her up. Already patented. Gonna size her up real nice. Center of the ring spear from the apron. My goodness, what a, I've never seen such a crazy match like that between those two tag team individuals. It was something that we're gonna see for days and age, but we're gonna see these guys go at it into that independence in the Civil War, and all of them, oh my gosh, Flapjack, Mary Rush face right into the, those turnbuckle paddings. But ladies and gentlemen, now let's get on to our next matchup here as Mary Rush, the queen of the hive, takes on James Lurie, our hardcore girl. Not as much hardcore, but she is hardcore country. It was just now just gonna think of her mind. I'll go for a back kick. And what's this here? Now this is a rematch from what happened from the qualifying matches. James Lurie called out Mary Rush just a couple of weeks ago after seeing well, uh, such a controversy that James Lurie could not have let go because she wanted a rematch against somebody. She wants a fair, clean win. She wants a fair, clean match between her and Mary Rush. As Mary Rush went for a, she went for her uh, move, and then she went for the pinfall, and we saw that James Lurie grabbed the ropes, and. That had some controversies we saw. If we're gonna count that or not, but we had the no other choice that had the Mary rush into the match. And look at this now, drop kick, send to the ring. Back turned. And now trying to get back up, back to the abdomen. And now notice, oh, floats over. Very nice counter by Mary Rush. Drops her into the, right, the reverse DDT. The demon here. She's very, she's very dangerous when it comes to this ring. Whatever, all her tactics, all of her moves, just takes a, oh my gosh, but though, just gets sense over the top rope by ring side. James Lurie, now what is she gonna go for here? She's gonna go for something onto the apron, what's this here? Oh, no, nothing. Completely changes her mind, gonna go instead, gonna pick her up on her shoulders, what are we gonna see here from her? What's this now? Snake Eyes onto the apron, to the canvas. The ball is being spewed out here. 
Remember the other Divas match that we saw from earlier that ended in the count -out. Hopefully these women are smart enough to, to get back in the action so we can see a clear winner. Oh my gosh! Drives her face onto the mat, onto the outside. And what's this here? The show for the snap suplex onto the outside. And now finally, these two women are getting back to the ring, or I don't know what to call them here, but she is, I don't know if I want to call her a woman or demon or whatever she is. She is something that out of the complete darkness, out of something out of a Halloween trick or treat of giving, being given candy to a parent. Oh my goodness. There's no one here coming from now. Pin attempt one, no. Looks like she grabbed the ropes or going for the pin attempt. And now this is here going for shots after shots after shots. For a big woman like her, for Mary Rush for being five foot eight. She's very dangerous when it comes to this. And now here we go. Olympic slam. Onto the canvas. Now cover here. Pin attempt referee. One, two, no. The quick out kick out. The disbelief on Mary. And that was this here. Mary Rush is going to finish it once and for all. She's going to go for her. She's got him up on her shoulders. To plan her any time. Center of the ring. Red Wedding, it could be over here folks, cover down, one, two, no, just a quick two, hours out of that, after taking that, inflicting Red Wedding, and now Mary Rush goes to the middle rope, splash, no, James Lurie saw it coming, the quickness, we've seen from her background, we see how she is in the ring, and we, and now she's going to do something about it. She's going to tables are turning. Oh, here we go. DDT. We've seen this before. Dude, a thick skull. Drives her head onto the, to the mat. And now it's pushing her, dragging her to make sure no rope break. It's going to go and put it away. One, two. Oh, no. Just gets a shoulder up at two. My goodness. These two are trying to do any and all to try to put each other away after what this is a, this makes up from the matchup, from the qualifying match. Look at a double X handle from all the way across the ring now. Mary Rush gets back up, goes for a nice Juber suplex. Oh, flips over. Back flips over it. Got to grab her by her head. What's she going to go for here? Very nice. Snap suplex. Right almost to that corner. Very nice. Snap suplex by James Lurie. And now to be good at her breather. Now, what is this here? Throws her back up and oh, kicks her back down. Oh, Mary Rush, buddy. Go back up. Nice judo throw. Sensor turned her down. You now a pin attempt here. One, two, no. Only a two count. And now it's this here. Gonna try to wreck her, wrench her neck. Break it off like a bobblehead, but as she retaliates, gets right back up. Punch in the back. Oh, oh floats over. Oh, into a clothesline. James Lurie being strategic, trying to turn her all about. Look at this now, big kick. It, oh my gosh, a clothesline. We saw that before their first encounter. Well, listen now, Spear brings her down. Oh my goodness. And now look at James Lurie goes right back up. It was this here, Lufthansa press, just striking down and, and about. These two, we were gonna see these two go out of each other one way or the another. We don't, it looks like we're gonna have no time for the pay-per-view. So why not wait until the next, until the go-home show. As right now, Mary Rush climbs her to the back with that backbreaker, geez Louise. These two are tearing each other apart. These two are just showing off their skills, showing their abilities and trying to make some sort of chemistry. It's working very well. These are two talented ladies. And that was this here, Mary Rush, gonna go for it again. Eyeballing the camera to watch her every move. Red Wedding, center of the ring, put her, put her away. One, two, no! Just a two and a half. Mary Rush has gotta be thinking in her eyes. She has to think in her mind, in her demons. What is she gonna go for? How can she gonna pull away James Lurie? And she's gonna go with one attempt, another, again, spears over to the center of the ring. Mary Rush has been had the all ball game, mostly half of the match, but James Lurie tries to fight her way, sneaks around, tries to find strategical wounds to get away from the demon. Oh my gosh! And a straight kick to the face, big kick and all. One, two, 
Oh! They're just arguing with the referee. That, that should have been faster. The count faster. That wasn't fair at all. Look at this now. Forearm shot. Backs are off. Here we go for a padded Olympic slam. Drives her onto the back. And that was this here. Larry Rush goes to the back behind again. Oh no. Reverse is out of it. Uh oh, what's this? Uh oh. We're going to see this one more time. DDT. Oh my gosh. Drives her skull into the mat. The demon is out. She could, could she dethrone the queen? One, two. Oh no. Oh my gosh. What a match, folks. What a match. We're equal, very equal competition with these two. And that was this here. We're gonna try to wrench her back, but the demon flips out of it, gets out of just already. And that was this here. We're gonna throw her to that corner. And we're gonna see here. Now she sends her into the other corner, runs her over. Oh my gosh, spears to the abdomen. And goes for a belly to back suplex. This could be it here. She puts her pin attempt here. It could be all over. One, two. And three. Well, that that escalated quickly. Apparently, Mary Rush just exhausted her soul. Whatever she did into the vessel completely knocked her out under the back of her head. James Lee's head. But anyway, else, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Mary Rush. She has won this victory. She is now two and zero against James Lee. But right now, next up, speaking of demons, we're getting out to our main event here as Bilar Wicklow goes one-on-one -on -one with Tony Skade here, right now, next. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are just now in our main event as our heavyweight champion will go as a one-on-one -on -one against our heroes of wrestling member, Tony Skade, as we get it right here now, color elbow tie-up. Very nice, going to the back behind. Uh oh power, oh, nice. Strengthens out of it now. Twist to the abdomen over and over. Rearrange of the guts. Oh, very nice. Oh, into a. Oh, very nice. And now it's a. Oh, he drives to the knee to the back. But in the next come up, coming days, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get to the match card for our fourth pay per view installment of SMPW's Independence in just about a few days. We're going to give you to all the, the analysis of what are we going to expect out of independence what is going to happen who will be fighting for which championship we already know that certain championship matches have been confirmed as Bilar Wicklow our SMPW heavyweight champion will be going one-on-one -on -one against our challenge our new challenger Thomas Peterson as also our number one contenders the faces of facts will be going to want a tag team against the tag team champions that to be defending their titles the good the the good brothers and also, Xavier Winkle, our challenger, the Skywalker, will be going one-on-one -on -one against our champion for the championship, Kane Daniels, for the, for the SMPW United States Championship. And other matches will be upcoming very soon as we go to get into our matchups. And, all, and also, by the way, in our Civil War match, we have Insanity going against Super Kick Party and Franco Vortex. And also, last but not least, Kanako Ishikawa, in a rematch from our last pay-per-view, Hardcore Massacre, not very last pay-per-view, but our second pay-per-view, Hardcore Massacre, as she goes one-on-one -on -one against Lexi Kaufman. And other matches will be confirmed as well. We're going to see what's going to be happening with the Women's Championship. What, who is Sofia Fales going to be fighting for the championship? And other matches will be confirmed at our pay-per-view. But right now, as we get on our main event here live, right here, it's Reno Nevada. Shotgun Dropkick sends Tony Skate into the corner. And that was this here. Gonna go for a right already. Coop de Grace could have ended once and for all. But look at that now. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Tony Skate just completely def just counted out of it, just got out of the way. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the first time we have ever seen anyone dodge a Coupe de Grace from our demon champion, Bilal Wicklow. It looks like Bilal Wicklow is in shock and awe, but that, is, but that got him more angry. What's this here going to go for? Close him, sends him onto the mat. But what I see here, Tony Skate runs back up into the leg sweep. The referee now countering at a four. These two guys are into the mat. And now look at this here, the strength of Tony Skate, the Swiss Superman. Throws him over to the back body drop onto the mat. 
on that ringside and now drives his back of his head across there and almost to the strength all the, all the spiders out of that move the spiders out of there we've seen it from last week against Trent Dudley and now we're seeing it from Tony Skade and now finally gets sent back into the ring here as a almost a count of seven but a count of six oh no here we go from the back behind go to pick him up inverted 1916 to do just drives him up to the back of the skull You gotta give Tony Skate some credit here. He has the courage to step up against our Demon Champion, who has been the longest reigning Smash Mountain Pro Wrestling heavyweight champion here in, in history. Who has nobody has able to dethrone him, but will will that happen? Will Thomas Peterson be the one, the first man to try to dethrone the demon? That will happen. Might. It, it's not a, I'm not saying it will, but it might happen. But we're right now. He's got to get us all his focus. He's, he's pretending the demon is visualizing his attacks onto Thomas Peterson. He's analyzing what he could do. Sending a message to the challenger. As you know, Tony, to, Thomas Peterson's watching on, watching the demons every move. These two guys are in it for, it's going to be a tough battle. It's going to be a battle we're going to be seeing. But right now, it looks like the champion, we're going to see an upset win here. What's this now? Swiss death. Just it took the cap to capital of the demon's head off. One now, two, no, and just an innocent kick out of it. Two, a disbelief in Tony Skates. Look at this. Oh, he's pointing right at his partner. He knows the drill. And what's this here now? Gonna send him over to the top rope. Gonna send him to the outside. Oh, no, this time he's gonna throw him back into the ring. Very up vertical suplex to the center of the ring. A champion. Oh no, is there? Uh oh. We're watching off to the top rope. Go send him. Oh no. Springboards. Two and drop kick. Shotgun drop kick from the springboard. The de oh, what the hell? What type of magic is that? What type of voodoo black magic was that? This sp spider like demon. Or oh, whatever type of demon he is. What is this now? T bone suplex. Very nice. By Tony Skade. Uh oh. He's locked and loaded. Did we see another attempt to the Swiss death? I don't know if this is here. Middle row. But up top, double X handles, tries him onto the face. As we know, ladies and gentlemen, we are here live at Reno, Nevada. We are just coming off from other matches that we have seen from these uh, here in tonight's episode for the Go Home Show for Smash Mountain Pro Wrestling's fourth pay per view installment, Independence. And our at our first matchup, we saw, you know, we saw here as Lexi Kaufman went against our debuting star here, uh, Jade Aqua, and it, it ended in a dishonorable way, cheating to get her victory the easy way out in a count out. As you know, Kanako Ishikawa was watching on, and she knows very well that she's predictable. She sees Lexi Kaufman as a predictable, predictable diva. As well as we also saw in our tag team matching, we had the Insanity take on the Superkick Party in a tag team match we will never forget. It was a very great tag team action, I would have to say in my opinion. And also, we had to see Mary Rush, the Queen of the Hive, take on James Lurie in a very good match. James Lurie now on a Mary Rush, as in one is two to zero oh against James Lurie. But what's going to impact will What's going to impact in their type of rivalry, kind of? And also, we saw Xavier Winkle take on Gerard Lennon in, an, uh, number, in a just a preparation match for Xavier Winkle. Puts him in a good, in a great victory. Very flow, overflowed match between the two. But now we're going to our main event here. As we've seen so much of it's so close, so so close, so measured the strategies that Tony Skate is trying to do against the heavyweight champion of the world, or of hell, I should, I should interpret it. You now you know, he's trying to break that arm, trying to bend it like a pretzel. Don't know. Oh, well, we're going to get back up. Oh, no. Oh, that's just some flagging shots, shots, and shots, and shots. Well, what's this here? They're going to send to the corner. Uh-oh. They're trying to chuck and jump him, but no. You see? What he's doing here, very nice. But Tony Skade gets flattened to the reverse DDT. Tony Skade, you could tell that his 
He has been studying this man. It looks like just a cheese. He has been studying every move, any, every tactic. He is trying to prove that he has nobody else. He is not like all the rest of the victims that have been victimized and harvested by the demon. And he wants to prove that he can beat the demon. Not only not a non-title or not, but the demon could retaliate there with a shotgun drop kick. And as you can see, he's not going for his coup de grace already. But instead, he's going to go forward again one more time. 1916. Drives him to the mat. And it could be all over here. It's all over. One, two. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Bolar Wicklow adds another member. A victim in his bucket list of souls. As that demon prevails, another claimed victim. But wait a minute, wait, what's this? Wait a minute, what's this? Tony, Pe Tony Thomas Peterson out of nowhere. Cover from a, back behind. Oh my gosh, and a, a, a Beard Hill Aces attack from weeks ago. And now look at this. Oh my gosh, and now one of the heroes of wrestling, Chris Bradley's joining onto the at attack. Heroes of wrestling, they're joining on. They are sick and tired of seeing the demon being shoved down everybody's throat. So look at this now. And they're, give, they're sh giving the people what they want. They're basically doing the people with a favor. Oh my gosh, and now we can see the image from Independence right here. Bitter end. Thomas Peterson flattened the demon. The question is, will we see this at Independence? Will we see a new champion?